All the seven rooms are basically the same. Each man has his own room. It's about 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And while they're sufficient, there's nothing that is extraneous, I don't think. And kind of the idea behind the construction of the seminary, the way we designed it is common spaces are sort of celebrated. They're larger, taller ceilings, more articulation of beauty, etc., better furniture. And then all of our private spaces are simple. And what we were attempting to accomplish with uh, that sort of style is that every man takes a promise of simplicity of life. If you can't fit it in your room, you don't need it. And so the space itself kind of assists in formation by saying that I can't outgrow the space and I don't have to have uh, the nicest things or the most beautiful this or that. As St. Philip Neri used to say, the common space is one thing, but everyone has to also have his own nido. And the word nido in Italian means a nest. And so a man can come back to be alone with God, to study, to pray, to enclose himself, as it were, to shut the door and let the Father who sees in secret speak to him himself. At the seminary, we have sort of a mentoring model insofar as the priests basically do all that the men do themselves. So whether it's work, whether it's prayer, um, and everything in between. So we're all engaged in the activities together. It's not a sort of separate thing that priests do versus the men. At the same time, we need privacy as well. In all the faculty rooms, we created both a sitting room as well as a bedroom. That way the priests also can get together and have their priest friends in for smaller conversations and just a place to be able to relax together and to grow in our own fraternal priestly charity.